And our friend from New Zealand, Slow Hardware, is back. Worth the jump from a 5900X to a 5950X for Adobe After Effects. Using a lot of the CPU, sometimes slows down during motion design at 4K, 2080 Ti, 48 gigs of RAM. No. Buy Windows 10 Professional for $15, activate instantly online with Microsoft, and keep it forever. Don't pay full price. Get the best deal from our sponsor, URCD Keys, using our link in the video description below. Full details on how this amazing deal works at the end of the video. Absolutely not. You're not going to like this answer. No, he probably isn't. In fact, you're not going to like this answer. Maybe. You were editing the BSTs at the office. Now you're editing them at home. I am. Tell everybody what your CPU is at home. Uh, the 7950X. 7950X 3D. Yeah. Tell everybody what your CPU at the office was. Oh, at the office? At 3900X? What computer's just sitting on the table at the office right now? 13, I mean, a 3900K. <laughs> I know, there's too many numbers. <laughs> X's and Y's and Z's. <laughs> So she was K. she was doing the bite-sized text at the office on an i9 13900K. Now she's doing them at home on her 7950X 3D. 3D. Tell everybody about your experience. I noticed the difference. I prefer the 13900K. It was smoother. Adobe likes Intel and Nvidia. Period. If you are an Adobe person, you should not be on AMD anything. Yeah. Nvidia and Intel Period. I, I have now used it on enough different computers. You do not run those programs on AMD. Sorry. Maybe you should bring that computer home for me. Would you like it? And switch. Well, if I'm going to do the BSTs, it was painful. Um, you notice the difference? I, I noticed. I'm like, what the heck is going on? It's an Adobe thing. It is. I mean, it was. If you switched oh. to DaVinci Resolve, it'd run like a champ. Adobe sucks. Oh, then I have to learn something new. Can anyone download DaVinci Resolve to me? But you'd be a man, you'd be like, well, this feels like it used to. Yeah, because Adobe is Adobe. Yeah, Adobe and AMD. Not a happy camper. So. Yeah, so. Sorry. Um, so he should be on Intel is what you're saying. If you use Adobe After Effects, go, go buy yourself a 14900K. You'll notice a different slow hardware, believe me. I'm just... I know. He's not hitting those prices in New Zealand. You aren't going to like that no, answer. he's not. I can already... I, I... The other thing is he has a 2080 Ti. The um, encoder and decoder and the 3D processing in the newer cards is superior in all respects. Get yourself a 4070 Ti Super. It's got dual encoders and dual decoders. It's vastly superior to the earlier cards. Yeah, and if you're doing a lot of rendering. I upgraded the 3090 to a 4090 in my system and got a 30% speed jump in encodes, transcodes, and effects. It's noticeably faster. Oh, here we go. He said, my partner also tried the i7-6950X and said it wasn't much slower than a 5900X for After Effects. Yeah, it's that Intel and AMD thing. It's coded for Intel. They, it just is. Yeah, Adobe Intel software, yes, yeah. Yeah, I, because I'm, I'm... You were trying to figure out why I it sucks. Figure, I mean, I was bamboozled, because, I mean, you know, I've been doing the BSTs on the 1300K, and... It's a great machine. She has a 7950X 3D, 64 gigs of DDR5-6000, a 2 terabyte 990 Pro boot drive, an RTX 4090... Like on, on the 13900K, I could edit the videos without the the glitching and the stuttering. I could um, render them while editing, or I could render them and do the thumbnails in Photoshop. She could when she had the 4090 in the computer at the office. But oh, but I took the 4090 out to use it, and I stuck a 30 series <laughs> card in. Tell everybody what happened with the 13900K when I downgraded you to a 3060 Ti. I can only do one thing at a time. It made a difference, did it not? Yeah, and and the and the scrubbing. The timeline. The timeline was was. So he's got a 2080 Ti, 
and probably thinks, well, that's a great video no, card. Yeah, no, it's not. No, you, you, you would notice um, a lot by changing out that 2080 Ti and more RAM too. It's a lot of money. It is. But if you're making money with it. I'm not overstating the difference, am I? No. No. Uh, after my experience today. Right tool for the job. Yeah. It's like trying to haul a bunch of lumber with a Honda Civic versus an F-150 pickup truck. One of those is the right tool for the job and one of them is not. You could. You know what you do with the Honda Civic? You put it on the roof with the arm out the window. <laughs> I got it. I got it. Oh, my gosh. So, so right, sorry, slow hardware. Whew. Uh, do you feel better now that you've realized that it's the CPU and not you? Oh, my gosh. I was. We could bring that other machine home if you want. To reset everything up, but and then the, why it's still sitting there? The monitors, too. I'm on an ultra wide versus a 32 inch 16 by 9. And <sighs> I didn't format that machine, it's all sitting there. Oh, it's still sitting there. I think it is. Yeah, so it should also be it should be sitting there. Okay, we could plug it into the two 4K monitors upstairs. Okay, there you would go. that make you happy? Yes, that would make me happy. I love you. Happy. Yeah, me. I love you. We could just bring the two 4K monitors home and you could use them at home. Yeah, that's true. Okay. First world freaking problems. <laughs> you know, the day. Here's the positive the fact that we can have this conversation and say, yeah, we've tried it on this hardware and this hardware and this high end thing and this thing and this ultra wide and this, that, that allows us to give practical advice. But when we're sitting here debating upon which really expensive high end machine, you can imagine that people are like, holy crap, how are people supposed to be able to do that? <sighs> you need to make some money for the W9 3490-95X128 DDR5 ECC and a 4090. That's AMD. It's That's not AMD. good. It will run like crap. It will. I bought a 24 core Threadripper for XD to edit on oh, and it sucked. It's terrible. It didn't like the RAM. I mean, it, we had nothing but problems with that thing. My 18 core Intel was faster than his 24 core Threadripper. Yeah. It just was. Yeah. So, because Intel, AM, Adobe likes Intel. Looking for a Windows 10 or 11 product key, but you don't want to spend $100 to $200 for it? Our sponsor, URCD Keys, provides discounted Windows keys at amazing prices. $15 for Windows 10 Professional, $21 for Windows 11 Professional, and just $60 for Microsoft Office 2021 Professional Plus. These product keys are the real deal. They activate directly with Microsoft Online, link to your Microsoft account, and they work forever. For Windows, you simply go to Settings, Update and Security, Activation, click Change Product Key, paste the key provided by URCD Keys, and in seconds, you're activated with Microsoft. For Office, go to setup.office.com, sign in with your Microsoft account, paste the product key provided by URCD Keys, and then download Office 2021 Pro Plus directly from Microsoft. Remember to use the discount code TD20 to save 25% off the already deeply discounted prices and support our channel at the same time. We have been using product keys from URCD Keys for almost five years now without any issues and encourage you to do so as well.